Japan. Hello again and welcome to Cameroon Cuisine Mia's Way. Today I'm going to be preparing kingfish. I pre-wash them with lime because I want it to be very clean. So I wash them with lime. After washing and rinsing, I'll salt it with a pinch of salt. Okay, this is my preparation method. I put it put in some of my blend spices. Remember I already showed you how to how I blend my spices. That's good enough. Put in a teaspoon of salt. Put in some Maggi cubes. Two to be precise. I put in some chopped onions. Chop green, red, and yellow pepper or green, depending on what you want. Then I put in some chopped tomatoes, slice. Mix it up together. I have here some pepper, so I'm gonna put in some hot pepper, hot spice. Put in some olive oil. Vegetable oil, I mean, put in some vegetable oil. Make sure it's to taste. And put in your fish. This is my kingfish. And stir. After stirring, you just have to taste it again to make sure it's to your taste and you put it in your baking pan or whatever it is you use to bake. Then I will now toss it, put it in the oven. Put it in the oven. And put now that it is in the oven, I put it on grill. Grill and not bake. I use grill because as it's cooking, I get the crispy color at once. So that way it saves me gas. While the fish, the kingfish is in the oven, I'm preparing my broccoli. 
to be steamed and get it ready to steam it. I steam it in low heat because it's not supposed to be too soft. I steam it in low heat for about 5 to 10 minutes. After 10 to 15 minutes of grilling, you turn it over to allow the other side to cook. And once the other side is cooked for another 10 to 15 minutes, you can still decide to turn it over again to get the brownish color that you want. After grilling for 30 to 45 minutes, this is what it should look like. Like I said, I like it brown with a brownish color, so it depends on what you want. So this is what it should look like, and this is how I serve it. There's enough sauce to go with the rice. That's my final product. Yum! Enjoy!